What is that? I don't think I've ever used that. Holy shit, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to get some of this ingrained in our muscle memory. Because it is, uh... Stops charged charging attacks. Does this mean- does that mean that if I were to run at this guy? Or does that mean that this is a charging attack right here? Oh. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like I can actually charge at him. He just follows me around. Okay. It's not too bad. Well, let's let's check our moves real quick. I kind of like all of these moves, actually. Almost have a jumping attack, which will be pretty cool. I think we'll grab this one whenever we... Oh, okay, I see. So if you finish your attack sequence in this... In these specific um, stances, then you finish with this move. I gotcha, that makes sense. So if I were to be like... Attack, attack. That is a cross hook, whatever that's called. Attack, attack. Over the head. Attack, attack. Got it, okay. Okay. Cool. I'm learning. Onward. So as usual, we definitely want to. Oh, whoa! Hey, buddy. Oh, that was a good parry. We actually, we actually blocked that. Oh! Oh! We actually... I wonder if parrying uses any stamina. Alright, so we want to try and block that long kick. That did not work. Or parry it. We want to try and parry the long kick. I think we have all this guy's moves already, so we're gonna go and just kick him. <laughs> it's still Darkwood for Terror Tuesday because someone chose hard mode. It is still dark Darkwood for Terror Tuesday because someone chose hard mode. Yeah, we uh, we actually are really far into the game right now. Uh, and we. I don't, I, when I say really far, I mean like significantly farther than we've ever been before. Um, we killed these villagers' giant pig god that gave birth to, to live, fully grown pigs. And so it was the only way they were staying alive in this, uh, in this weird place that they're living in where the forest is like blocking off all entrances and exits. 
The only way that they were living was this pig god that gave birth to live, fully grown pigs that they slaughtered and ate. And so we killed it because it was disgusting. And, and now they're all mad at us. The look of a broken man. <laughs> That's what I was going for. So good. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> you will never break me, Max. <laughs> Stupid death flashbacks intensify. So it looks like we can't break into that. It looks like we should be able to go in there. It's kind of weird. The worst one really was the wolf. The When we hit the wolf. Oh, it was awful. It was awful. <clears throat> because we were so hopeful. Like, we, he killed us and we were like, well, maybe he'll reset and not hold a grudge against us. And we go back and he's not there. And then all of a sudden we hear a growling. And this giant, dark, cloaked figure comes out of the shadows and just murdered, murders us once again. Rush is not, an ava is not available in a fight stance. Okay, so this just is basically, it's basically sprinting. I'm out of coffee. Okay, so we did something. Holy mess, that looks crazy. I'm gonna go up in there, and I'm gonna take all of their loot. Oh wow. So pretty. I really do like the art style in this game. It's so peaceful. I'm guessing I could fall off there if I would so choose to jump. Yes, the answer is yes, I could fall off there if I wanted to. Why does your character wear a mask? <clears throat> so, at the very beginning, right now we are what is called... Let's, let's see. We're what is called a prospect. And so they don't give, it's kind of like Dark Souls where they don't give you, like, directly give you any lore. You kind of have to uncover it for yourself and assume certain things. Yes, he's training to become a professional edgelord. Um, but no, so right at the very beginning, you're lined up with a bunch of other people. And this dude comes to and picks you. And you take your mask and you hand it to this, like, godlike ethereal light figure. And the dude makes it, he makes the mask... He closes the eyes hold on it and puts like a dark energy into it and then you wear it and immediately get transported to this area. And so I, I and from what I've read about the game and some of the background, it's it's it basically seems like we are being trained to be warriors for this very specific society through this god. Um, and we have to make our way through this huge series of other people that are also trained to be warriors and that were chosen out of many other people. Um, to make it and they've absolved us so that we no longer experience hunger, thirst, or um, sleep deprivation so we, we never get tired either uh, so we just fight forever and eventually I think I don't know if it's like once we reach level 60 or once we beat the campaign we become full absolvers And but to do that we have to beat all of the other people that are in the trials that are current prospects so that's why we wear a mask the mask, I think, prevents us from experiencing and shitty, incomplete story. There is a clear line between that. That's true. But I don't think this is just a shitty, incomplete story. Do you think Dark Souls was a shitty, incomplete story? If that's the case, then you probably would think this is a shitty, incomplete story. <laughs> It's been pretty cool so far, and they're def they're gonna add other stuff as well, like um, 
different game modes. I think they're going to add more campaign as well. And, I mean, the fighting is really interesting. It's not, it's unlike any other type of combat in a game that I've ever experienced. It's really cool. What's up, Nightbot? Nightbot says hello. I'm guessing this is another nice NPC? <laughs> the Lackey of Twitch! To become an Absolver, you have to prove your worth and defeat Rizrin in the Hanging Gardens of the Tower of Adol. Still ignores you. What a douche. Ugh! I know. I hate that Nightbot character. But first, you must defeat Kurtz in the Coliseum, Kilnor, uh, and the six Mark Ones roaming the city of the forest. Ah, interesting. Okay. So we have like. 10 people to do, major bosses to defeat. Only then will the stone gate of the Imperial Tower open. This headstone will show your remaining targets. Okay. Ooh. Beware of these foes. They would not be defeated easily. Cool. Ah, okay. So these are all the people we need to defeat. I'm guessing some of them are duos. Maybe they're red ones, and that's why he said, was talking. There were so many of them. And that headstone, I think, is the primary one. Activate the altar. Oh, so this is just a primary med meditation spot. Combat trials. Traditional to the death. To to okay, so this is this is the PvP. Uh, and oh, we could go into PvP right now. Let's let's not do that since we're level two out of sixty. Social encounters. Okay, so this is if we encounter anybody or if we are invited or have any in-game friends, we can use that. Meditation. Let's meditate again real quick. We haven't unlocked any more uh, abilities, but we have unlocked, we've leveled up again, which has given us another point. So let's... There are only 60 levels. Yes, there are only 60 levels. The reason I think they cap that is because the levels are only to... They're only used, really, to increase your... Strength, Dexterity, Vitality, Endurance, Will, and Mobility. So they cap it so that you have to build your character a specific way, if that makes sense. Right? So you don't just have an unlimited um, ability to upgrade all of these different parts. <laughs> Level cap is stupid. <laughs> I don't know, I think, personally, it makes sense in this situation. Let's upgrade our Vitality here. Because if they didn't cap the level based on the the game design that they've created, you just would be able to upgrade these indefinitely, and the actual fighting would lose meaning because you'd have indefinite stamina with a soul level four hundred or something. Yeah, and then but then it would, they'd have to do like every I don't know like six levels, then you got a point, and it would just be I don't know. It would become a bit silly, I think, with the current system they set up. They'd have to have a separate system for leveling up these... thingamabobs. I don't know, I kind of enjoy it. Because there's also the entirely separate thing of unlocking... new moves, which you get through encounters, blocking the moves, and finding people that use them, and parrying them. Uh, and so... I don't know, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so this is where we currently are. So right out here, there should be another boss. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm a complete noob. I'm awful. But that's to be expected, since this game has a fairly high skill cap, it looks like. All right, so we're gonna have to go try and find the first one of these bosses. We're almost certainly not gonna be able to battle this boss. So we should have gotten a save here. 
And it looks like, see these two people down? Actually, they should be right underneath where I currently am. But two names just popped up as people having entered the area, which I think means that if I wanted to battle them, I could. I could. Central Harbor. There is no map. The only map we have access to is the one back in the main area. Oh, so those people are dueling. Okay. Maybe later. I think we're gonna go try and battle the first boss. But I don't think it's in the, this direction. Let's try a different direction. There should be... Okay, so we're currently right there. There should be one right in front of us. Looks like we went out to the left right there. So there should be one... Oh, okay, so this is another another initiator, whatever they're called. Why can't I not? I, I can never remember the name of the people. It's another one, a person like us, a new player. So this should be where the first boss is. Not that I think we're at all ready to fight the first boss, but... Hunting path. I want a map! Give me a map! <laughs> yeah, see, we're, we're definitely going too far, I feel like. Oh my! Mixed reviews! Yeah, I mean, a game with a skill cap that's as high as this one, that means that people are whining because they're not good at it. That's what that sounds like to me. Or they had server issues. Which I think they did on PS4, but... So this guy has no moves that we have, haven't learned yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and kill him. Bullshit. <laughs> you think that's bullshit? No. No one would ever go write a bad review. Look at Lawbreakers or Dark Souls. Shit. Well, one thing though you have to remember though, first of all, for Lawbreakers, since there was not as much support as the fans of the game would have liked to maintain a good game, there was an outpouring of support for the game. Um, from the fans that really liked it. So there's going to be a, an inflated number of good reviews. And an inflated number of good reviews for Lawbreaker because of that fact, right? There was more people that wanted to give it a good review because they wanted to push it into a community um, that could maintain a strong player base. Uh, whereas normally if there were had... It, say the game had started out with 100,000 people buying it. Um, there wouldn't have been probably as many positive reviews. Or there may have been, I don't know. Dark Souls is a good case, though, as well, you're right. That is, an, that is a good example. I wonder if there's a way to heal. Oh, so other actual players can come through here, here and... Uh, punch people. And these are people that I've encountered. I want to see if there's a way to... 
change the parry system. So let's let's look. It doesn't look like that's bound to a specific thing. Let's try gameplay maybe. Then reviews will never recover. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And they had the I don't know, the launch here was pretty good. But appar I was I was reading some of the stuff and apparently the PS4 launch was really bad. Though I gu I guess that wouldn't really affect the Steam reviews. That's cool. What do we get? Oh, sea line bracelets. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Let's check. Wait, what? I thought we just got something. Oh, we can wear these instead. So these are better against cutting. We're definitely gonna want to keep the blunt ones on because we haven't even caught anyone that is has a sword or a knife yet. All right. Okay. Real quick, I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I will be right back, and we'll try and find this first boss. Although I think we're on the wrong path. Not really exactly sure where we are right now because there's no map. So if we need to, we'll go back. I am personally enjoying the game, regardless of mixed reviews, and Max or anybody else thinking about um, checking the game out, I recommend trying to play it, because it's really, the combat style especially is really interesting. From what I've read, people in Asia and sometimes even EU have issues with ping and their game turns into a laggy mess. Ah, I gotcha. So that's where the bad, probably the bad reviews are coming from. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, yeah. Again, I have no idea where we are, but let's do this. Laggy mess. You know, I hate that that is something that games have to deal with. It really sucks. Because sometimes really good games get released, and then they just end up... Having no following or being shitty... Like, having a shitty player base because... Just because of connection or server issues. So right now, if we wanted to, we could fight one of these guys, I think. We could request a co-op, or we could declare a fight. Interesting. Okay. We have really low health, so I don't, I don't want to fight anybody. At this moment. I just want to explore. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. The boss is right on top, right above the area we were just at. died. <laughs> I have so much to learn, chat. So much to learn. <laughs> 